Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of our Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems and topics like select basic joins, basic aided functions, sorting and groupings, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Department Highest Salary and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is a 39 video of the series called Department Highest Salary. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So, Amazon, Google, Adobe, a number of times, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called employee with four different columns ID, name, salary, and department ID. ID being the primary key for this table. Department ID is a foreign key that is reference column of the ID from the department table. Each row of this table indicates the ID, name, salary of an employee. It also contains the ID of their department. Okay. We are also given a second table called department, two different columns ID and name, ID being the primary key for this table. It is guaranteed that department name is not null. Each row of this table indicates the ID of the department and its name. We are asked to write a solution to find the employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example and see what we need in our output. So here we have various records for the employee table and the department table. So let's look at, okay, in the, there are two different departments, IT and sales. IT, in IT, what is the highest salary? So 90,000 is the highest salary, but that is for two people, Jim and Max. So for IT, Jim and Max and the highest salary being 90,000. For sales, what is the highest salary? 80,000 for Henry. And that is what we have in our output. So since in our output, we need the department name and then the employee name and the salary, which are in two different tables. So the first thing that we should do is we should join these two tables using the department ID column of the employee table and ID column of the department table. So what we can do is we can go ahead and do from this table called employee aliased as e let me left join the department table aliased as d on e dot department id is equal to d dot id okay and then what all columns do we require in our output we need the name of the department name of the employee and the salary so what we can do is we can keep only those rows which we require so select e dot name and that should be as employee and then we also need the department name right so d dot name as department and then what we need is we also need the salary part e dot salary and let's keep the department id column as well so e dot department id let me go ahead and run this so if we look at our output we have employee then the name of the department the salary and the department id so now what we can do is we can use our ranking methods rank dense rank or row number to actually partition by every department and then rank based on the highest salary as rank one then rank two and so on so what we can do is we can write okay use the dense rank we are using dense rank rather than row number so here you can use rank or dense rank any of them but the reason being so here you just saw right so for example in this case uh, for id department id one that is id there are two people who have the same salary so both of them are required in our output so if you use row number even if there is a tie it assigns a different rank so row number cannot be used rank can be and dense rank can be i usually like to go with dense rank so dense rank over we need this for every department id so partition by the e dot department id you can also do it by name of the department as well but better doing using department id and then order by the salary part so e dot salary in decreasing manner and then this entire thing could be aliased as rank so as rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at our output, so this is what we have. So for IT, this is the first highest salary, 90,000. Then this is the second highest. And for sale, this is the first highest. This is the second highest. So once we have this table, then what we can do is we can wrap this entire thing into parentheses. So from this entire thing, which produces this current table that we see on the screen, we are only interested in the highest salary. So where rank is equal to one and then what are the columns that are required in our output we only need the employee and salary so return t dot department t dot employee and t dot 
salary okay i think this looks good okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to see pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question but what we had to do is firstly we you know join the employee table with the department table so that we can get the name of the department as well and then we ranked by the decreasing order of salary for every department id so that we can get the okay this is the first highest this is the second highest based on every department and then since we are only interested in the highest salary so we kept only those rows where rank is equal to one and then we return the desired columns so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video